Did okay. you see the story about that children's TV show in Denmark? A- no. About the man with the giant penis that like people are pissed. <laughs> They're pissed because he has a giant penis. I will I'll, be too. I'll, I'm gonna put the thing up on the screen. Denmark launches children's TV show about man with giant penis. Critics condemn the, condemn the idea of the series about a man who cannot control his penis. Did you see the picture of him? Is that the penis? That's that his penis. Goes Check this out. Into goes, the grill. His name is John Dillerman. He said John Dillerman has an extraordinary penis. So extraordinary, in fact, that it can perform rescue operations, etch murals, hoist a flag, and even steal ice cream from children. And this is a TV show? Yeah. What would make anyone think that would work? No, well, because uh, they're saying it teaches, like, it's, it's supposed to, te- like, I guess he's, like, uh, self-conscious about his penis. Dude, so it's like teaching kids. <laughs> <laughs> and they say the show depicts a man who is impulsive and not always in control, who makes mistakes like kids do, but crucially. He always makes it right. He takes responsibility for his actions. When a woman in the show tells him that he should keep his penis in his pants, for instance, he listens, which is nice. He is accountable. That is nice. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> Did Louis C.K. write this? Like, when she tells me to keep it in my pants, I do, because I'm nice. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this world? That is insane that someone thought that that's the way to teach kids. And they say, what kind of culture are we creating for our children if it's okay for them to see perfect bodies on Instagram, enhanced digitally or cosmetically, but not real bodies? Well, on Instagram, you don't see dicks, period. So bring bring another body part that we do see every day if you want to do that. Big ass noses, your eyeball, one eyeball is huge, fucking ears. Things that people really deal with. Not a penis that's inside a grill and it can save people and hoist flags, okay? it's so big. Look at he's he's in the picture. If you're watching on YouTube, his penis is pouring lighter fluid into the barbecue. Wow! So his penis is holding that up. So his penis is red, white, and blue too. It's like I mean, red and white. It's like yeah, kind of like a really perverted find Waldo. <laughs> I gotta watch it because I like that it performs rescue operations, etches murals, hoists flags, and steals ice cream from children. <laughs> Such a wide variety of fucking. Balance with that. Like, I, you yeah, know it what? Says, uh, it says since, doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, it's about an idea of opponents have condemned the idea of a man who cannot control his penis. Is this really the message we want to send to children while we're in the middle of a huge Me Too wave? I just think that like in, in he's even one time told by a woman to keep in his pants and he says he and he does. Such a nice guy. It's like that's the low, that's the bar we're setting. Children, just if your woman tells you to keep your penis in your pants, just do it. Let me tell you something. If my dick can pour lighter fluid out, I'm doing that too. I'm pulling my dick out. So you're the wrong message. Let me tell you, if I had a big enough dick to hoist flags, I'm hoisting a flag every day on a video. Yeah. You're gonna see me hoist flags. You're gonna see me do rescue operations with my dick. Oh wait, I think I just found some video. Great. John oh. He's flying, was it? He's bouncing. Just aiming tigers? John Lufter Hune. John elskede grillpølser, men han brød sig ikke så meget om English, sådan noget nægge og den slags. Why would you think it would be English? <laughs> uh, <I just> wanna... <laughs> men dealeren vidste lige, hvad der skulle gøres. Oh, that's just him lighting light the barbecue. I, I, I took Danish in high school. Og hvad var bedre til det, end en ordentlig omgang tændvæske? It's only available at Home Depot. Pas på tændvæsken. Det er farligt. Yeah, the tin man had a dick like that. Oh my god, you put too much fluid. Oh, the tip of my dick. Ikke ned i oh, the school of Olemor. Yeah, gotta be careful. Det var dealeren, der gjorde det. Why does he look like a 1930s like weightlifter? Så du ikke ender med at fute hele hytten af. It was like a 1930s fucking lifeguard. Værsgo, sagde Olemor. I just want to see what else he does with his penis. Oh, he's fast forward. Oh, he's walking dogs with it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, he's walking dogs. Wow, that's a big one. He's got a huge dick. Let me see. That's cool. Let me see. I just want to see if he's... 
Oh, he just picked. He's. All right, this is fucking weird. Really? You needed to play a video to fuck it civil with weird? I'm sorry. John, come here. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, the, the story was weird. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Robin says his bird wrapped in something. It, yeah, it's well, I yeah, it's weird. It's like it's part of his outfit. I guess they can't it's, show the, like a like, like a, a dick. like a deck, yeah, a fleshy dick, a fleshy deck, yeah, because that would be weird. That's the weird part of that. <laughs> That's the weird part. Not that his dick is wrapped around his body. Yeah. So they're very progressive there in Denmark. <laughs> very. Very progressive. I can't understand how they that was the only thing they can think of. <laughs> just picturing kids going as him for Halloween, just walking in with this big <laughs> I'm Dinglehammer. Yeah. We I'm stand. John Dillerman. What? Yeah. <laughs> I got you, Teach. <laughs> hey Teach, you're you're making my John Dillerman happy, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you watch. Kids cartoons on Saturday morning. Yeah. You're lighting my barbecue on fire, if you know what I mean. You see episode one? Hope you did, because I'm hitting on you. Oh, that's oh, if, crazy. if people are listening to the audio podcast, go uh, Google John Dillerman. Uh, it's uh, this crazy cartoon that we're talking about right now. <laughs> they heard the, They can hear the Denmark on the podcast, right? They can hear it, but they can't see his penis on the podcast. Yeah. It's really big. Like a knitted scarf for his pecker. Yep. <laughs> Who says pe- was that? Was that Robin? No, it's somebody that doesn't have a uh, face on their thing. I don't know who it is. So maybe it's a new listener. Welcome. 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 Pecker. I, mean, I don't even remember the last time. I don't think I've ever used the word pecker describing a penis. No? No, I don't think I've Not ever. Not even like, as a kid? Eh. Not even as nah. a kid? I'm trying to think back now. Like Susie kicked Johnny in his pecker. No. No, right in the dick. In his ball sack. Or his nuts. Brajol used Brajol, right? No, I'm not Italian. I'm fucking Irish. It's Jersey, though. That's like... Brajol is a Guineas, man. I'm, I am I grew up in Spanish neighborhood. Oh, okay. Nobody said Brajol. So were you like Spanish Panga? In the, in the Pichu. Pichu. I think they say that, right? Pichu. Right? I think that was a word. <clears throat> What are, all, what are all the words for penis? Let's think of them. Well, talk about no, nothing to talk about on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what are all the words for penis? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> <laughs>